This is from the Life Extension Foundation magazine, January 2017. PQQ reduces arthritis inflammation. PQQ, or pyroloquinoline quinone, is a vitamin-like compound that has demonstrated impressive biological effects. It is found in tiny quantities in plant foods. PQQ is responsible for creating new mitochondria as well as maintaining existing mitochondria within the cell. PQQ's unique abilities have led many researchers to believe it can slow down the progression of aging. Past studies have shown that PQQ can improve cardiovascular and brain health, and more recent research has shown that PQQ can inhibit breakdown of healthy bone. The latest findings indicate that PQQ has the potential to decelerate the deterioration of joints in rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis. Arthritis is a leading cause of disability in the U.S. An urgent need exists to find treatments to prevent or delay its onset. Recent studies published in the journal Inflammation indicate PQQ may very well exert a protective effect in the joints. Rheumatoid arthritis occurs when the body's immune system mistakenly attacks the cells in its joints. This leads to the release of inflammatory cytokines and enzymes that damage not just the cartilage but also the bone. The disease does not just manifest in the joints. It produces a dangerous amount of inflammation that affects the rest of the body. Rheumatoid arthritis increases the risk of cardiovascular disease. Those with rheumatoid arthritis suffer an approximately 40% increased risk of overall mortality. In response to the immune system's attack on joints, cells called fibroblast-like synoviocytes, which are found in the joint's synovial fluid, release inflammatory molecules. Fibroblast-like synoviocytes can circumvent healthy cell turnover and instead release inflammatory molecules via a protein complex called NF-kappa-beta. In one of the new studies from the journal Inflammation, researchers tested human fibroblast-like synoviocytes in vitro or outside of the body. The scientists used an inflammatory agent to activate the release of cytokines from the fibroblast-like synoviocyte cells. In one of the groups of cells, PQQ was also added. The group of cells that did not receive PQQ had increased levels of pro-inflammatory cytokines. The cells that received the PQQ had a decreased production of the pro-inflammatory cytokines. In addition, PQQ was also able to halt the activation of NF-kappa-beta. The researchers also noted that PQQ may be able to attenuate certain enzymes that degrade a protein called type 2 collagen present in our joints. In a second part of this study, the researchers tested the effects of PQQ on two groups of mice with an animal model of rheumatoid arthritis. The scientists gave intraperitoneal injections of PQQ to one group of mice but not the other. After 45 days, there was a dramatic difference with the PQQ administered mice showing remarkable protection against inflammatory degeneration. The researchers observed narrowing of space between joints, increased inflammatory cell infiltration, and cartilage damage in the group that did not receive PQQ. Due to these impressive results, the researchers hypothesized that PQQ may be helpful in the treatment of other inflammatory conditions as well. Approximately 33% of Americans 65 and older are affected by osteoarthritis, making it the most common form of arthritis. It was believed that osteoarthritis was simply the result of age-related wear and tear of the joints, as well as the body failing to produce enough cartilage. Scientists now understand that the underlying causes of osteoarthritis are similar to that of rheumatoid arthritis. A group of researchers conducted a study to test the effects of PQQ for osteoarthritis treatment. In this study, human chondrocytes, cells that produce and maintain cartilage, were tested in vitro. The researchers manipulated the environment of the cells to create inflammation and mimic the effects of osteoarthritis. One group of cells received PQQ before the researchers manipulated the environment, while the other group did not. The researchers observed increased levels of collagen-degrading enzymes in the group that did not receive PQQ. One of the pivotal biomarkers for inflammation is nitric oxide. 
Under normal physiological conditions, nitric oxide acts as an anti-inflammatory as well as a vasodilator. But in certain circumstances, overproduction can lead to inflammation. In the group of cells that received PQQ, there was a significant reduction in joint degrading enzymes and nitric oxide. In addition, the researchers tested the effects of PQQ on mice who underwent a surgical procedure to induce osteoarthritis. Prior to treatment, one group received injections of PQQ with additional injections daily. The other group did not receive any. The group that received PQQ had significantly less severe cartilage damage compared to the group that did not receive PQQ. Practical Approaches for Arthritis The studies thus far are laboratory models and not directly relevant to human arthritis patients. PQQ's most impressive results have been seen in studies showing its support for mitochondrial function, cardiovascular health, and brain health. For those seeking natural approaches to combat arthritis, there are natural anti-inflammatory compounds in widespread use today including undenatured type 2 collagen, boswellia, and curcumin. Derived from chicken cartilage, undenatured type 2 collagen has robust data showing reduction in pain and increase in function in dogs, horses, and humans. Results from one study showed, in just 90 days, a 40% reduction on a pain scale for osteoarthritis patients supplementing daily with undenatured type 2 collagen. Boswellia is an Indian plant that has demonstrated potent anti-inflammatory properties. It has been shown to inhibit the pro-inflammatory enzyme 5-lipooxygenase or 5-LOX. This enzyme is responsible for facilitating the production of leukotriene, a pro-inflammatory compound that damages joints and cartilage. Boswellia has also been shown to inhibit a type of matrix metalloproteinase cartilage-degrading enzyme. An impressive study on osteoarthritis patients showed that daily Boswellia supplementation caused a 40.1% reduction on a pain scale compared to placebo in just 30 days. Curcumin is the most active constituent of the turmeric root. A study tested the effects of curcumin, or a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, on 45 humans during a flare-up of rheumatoid arthritis. The researchers tested the patient's blood for a systemic inflammatory marker called C-reactive protein and their pain score at the beginning of the study and then eight weeks afterwards. The results showed a 52% drop in C-reactive protein in the curcumin group. In the group receiving the NSAID, C-reactive protein increased by 1.5%. The NSAID group had a 42.1% improvement in pain scores, which was similar to the curcumin group, which had a 44.5% improvement or relief in pain scores. Summary. PQQ has been shown to promote mitochondrial biogenesis, or creation of new mitochondria, which is essential for older cells to retain youthful energy output. PQQ also protects against mitochondrial damage. The two new studies described in this research update provide preliminary data to pave the way for human trials in arthritis patients. PQQ was effective at suppressing cartilage-degrading enzymes and inflammatory markers in human cells and in the laboratory mouse model. These findings open a pathway for clinical studies to evaluate whether PQQ can benefit osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis patients. Those seeking to relieve arthritis symptoms today without resorting to drugs have access to a variety of low-cost nutrients with clinically validated effects. This video was brought to you by ScottHealthSystems.com, bringing you life-changing products and empowering information. If you like what you just heard, please support us by purchasing our great health products at ScottHealthSystems.com. We're not asking for donations or charity, but you can support us and yourself by purchasing our great products. Thanks for listening and be sure to subscribe to this channel and click on the link below and visit scotthealthsystems.com.